Yeah. Oh, oh fire. On fire. <laughs> That's fine. Good morning, YouTube. Coming back at you with another beautiful Sunday adventure. Well, New Year's Eve, gonna have some fun today. Got hooked up to a, excuse me, a friend's trailer. A little bit heavier duty. You're about to see why we have to have a heavier duty trailer. So tag along, we're about to make a little road trip for another project. All right, here we are with the second of the pair of trucks. We're gonna do the make two into one special here. And this one's this one's pretty neat, kinda, just because I like old trucks and I like weird things. So this truck I've actually had for, golly, what, three, four, five years? I don't know, a long time. So check this guy out. So this is an 88, I think, maybe an 89. But, with it being a, so factory it was a C20. So it still retains the traditional uh, square body front end. So even though it's 88, 89, because it was a three quarter ton, they kept this body around until 91. And you can tell it's not a three quarter ton anymore, or at least chassis wise it's not. So the story with this one, found this thing on, actually, I think I found this on Marketplace when Marketplace was first a thing. It tells you how long ago that was. And found it down in Atlanta and it was way cheap. It was almost so cheap that it seemed fake. Went down there and bought it and drove it home for like $1,500. Great running 350, turbo 400. Give you a little peek at this. Let's see, come on. Oh, yeah. Just stock as a rock with the Optional saw briars. Let's hope we don't have to get into there for anything. You know, and it's got a really solid cab. Unlike the other one, you'll see. So yeah, I drove this thing home and it was eight lug. The rear end was just howling. The bearings were shot in this thing. And so I had this five lug stuff. So I swapped it over to five lug and I actually, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's actually lowered. Uh, drop spindles in the front. I think I took some leafs out of the spring pack in the back. And I was gonna make like a service truck thing out of this. And, and I had a guy working with me at the time and then that didn't work out. And it just kind of went on the back burner. And yeah, so I've actually tried to sell it a couple times and no one's, whew, no one's ever, bid on it so i'm kind of glad they didn't because this is going to be the second part of a pretty cool little little duo so here we go we'll dig this one out first and then we'll show you the other one when we get back to the shop first things first the key to any proper c10 rescue multiple machetes and uh if you sneak around here you can kind of see that we have some limbs off the tree that are making it a little hard, but if you look right there by the door, there's actually a tree, a little sapling grown up right at the door. So let's see if we can make our way back here. There we go. Look like Indiana Jones back here. Aha. Than I am. There we go. Things we do for old trucks. There we go. There we go. Now, 
can actually get in it. Uh, that's how you know when you let your truck sit around too long. Also good for spider webs. There we go. That was fun. <laughs> All right, Chris, you got a little uh, gas to put in a bottle or something? Yeah. All right. All right. See when the driver door doesn't open. <clears throat> Had to do that slide through. We got Chris on the on the water bottle there. You ready? Yep. There we go. Good old 350. All right. All right. Wants to go. Now this one has it's 350, obviously. We talked about that, but this is the TBI or the throttle body injection. So it's like real primitive fuel injection. The pumps on them are not known to last. The electrical system's probably been into by mice. So I only got a little hope in this one actually running. I hear the injectors. They're clicking? Yep. All right. They don't look like they're firing though, or they're not firing anything. I don't hear, like, I don't hear the fuel pump. They're definitely clicking though. Yeah, I don't, I don't hear the fuel pump. So. Oh, it's an electric? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, it's probably dead because it runs and, and there's no fuel coming out of them, but they're clicking. Right. That last time it seemed to run a little longer. You want to try again? D did you put more in it? Is that what? Mm -mm. Okay, try again. Put more in it. All right, you ready? Yep. Most likely. TBI, so that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Mm. Yeah, it's actually got some on the stick. There you go. Okay, well, maybe it doesn't need to A big bonus is if you go ahead and like and subscribe and share this while you're at it. We appreciate it. Now back to the fun. Do like Bo and Luke Duke here. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bone. All right, so let's preempt this with, don't try this at home. <laughs> So we figured out the fuel pump is most likely bad. It'll run off a bottle. So we're gonna see if we can just drive it with a uh, manual fuel pump. <laughs> I.e. manual fuel pump. <laughs> don't kill me. All right, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. All right. All right, ready? Yep. I didn't give it more. How much are you giving it? Just a little bit. Maybe need a little more. All right. Ready? Yep. There we go. There it 
Alright. I'll try to take you, you ready? took me with it. <laughs> Started pulling my leg in. Oh, you ready? Yeah. No. You got some water? Maybe. the yard on fire. <laughs> we get some over there? A little bit. That would give us a good excuse to water the ground. <laughs> that was the first. Yeah. I guess right. we should have cleaned out all the uh, yeah. mouse food down there. I think the acorns got, got us on that one. Uh, it's fun. Go try again? <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> Do we have a fire extinguisher this time though? <laughs> I should have it. Alright, now we're opting for the much safer approach. Just pulling it. Alright. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, just like that, we got her loaded up. Luckily, there was no, there was no damage from that. A bit of fire we had. It kind of singed up some of the plastic uh, split loom stuff, but 
it was just it was a good opportunity for a lesson everyone should have a fire extinguisher ready luckily we were five feet from a water hose and had it out in less than a minute so wasn't any big deal learned our lesson oh, got her loaded up time to take off to the shop so you can see the second part of what i think we're going to call the world's cheapest square body i don't know working title we'll get back to that so here we are got the service body truck unloading nice easy trip chris's house is maybe i don't know six miles from here so just eased on down the road got it knocked out you got the second piece of the puzzle here i know i keep saying second piece why did i get the second piece first well so the first piece is actually already here at the shop check this guy out oh yes sir this thing is as long as a monday this this is a unit so as you can see c30 crew cab dually pretty cool but my favorite part the graphics the color paint job scheme thing so neat i mean check out even the hood i mean it's all so cool looking so i was going to do a video on going to go get this guy quick little story i uh, went to one of my friend's junkyards and had this sitting out there i asked him what the deal was he said one of our other friends had brought it down there because he had got all the parts he wanted i believe he stole the motor and trans it was a big block truck i believe stole the motor and trans it had one of those cool roof racks on it he took that and some other stuff he needed took it to the junkyard well my junkyard buddy he got six or eight interior pieces and some little things and plugs and stuff he needed and well he was done with it so they just gave it to me i know it's crazy but they literally gave me this thing they're like we're done with it we don't want it we're gonna crush it it won't bring much you just have it so here here is my plan my idea so i'm gonna take this guy right the bed the dually axle the front doors the fenders obviously the hood and i'm gonna put all of that on this truck and this essentially will be a regular cab dually but it'll have all these cool graphics because i'm gonna swap over all the body panels and the only thing i'll have to simulate or, or fake is this one section on this truck and this really needs to be painted anyway so i just paint the cab fake that in i think it needs a touch of here yeah right there but yeah so then essentially i'll have a really cool graphic regular cab square body dually two-wheel drive why because i've wanted one <clears throat> haven't been able to find one looked around i mean i'm not I, there's some out there i'm not gonna pay the world for one I, you know you know me i like to hunt around find a good deal doesn't get much better than free for this one and while i paid 1500 dollars for that truck what i didn't tell you is i've actually bought and sold it since i originally bought it and made like a grand on it so i've only got like 500 dollars in that one so cumulatively it's a stretch but it's a $500 regular cab short bed C30. At least that's the way my guy math works. And I know a lot of you guys, oh, why don't you just fix this thing up? It's already together, it's already... I'll show you why. Now, as cool as the outside of this truck is, and does look, it has some pretty bad rust and some pretty difficult to fix areas around the heater box is rotten, around the cow seam is rotten, calcium rot in there and we go around rockers or you know they're a little roach nothing nothing i haven't ever fixed before and someone's put uh oh, oh got a bum thumb here let's try that this in someone's gutted it and so like all my second row stuff be gone 
Uh, you can't see it, but there's some rust in the floor. Now, that, oh, oh hold on. Yeah, get the square body slam. Now, I've obviously fixed the rust that bad and worse, but I just don't want to. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, crew cab dualies are neat, but they're not as cool as regular cabs, in my opinion, especially when they're two wheel drive and they're hunkered down. I'll tell you, that's the money. So just imagine, let's see if I can stand back far enough here, just imagine, just not take that out, put that together, boom. A lot of work, but we're gonna give it a try. You know, I think this is something we can probably knock out fairly easily. And the reason I, I think it'll be fairly easy is the fact that this truck started life as, as a C30, or excuse me, a C20. So it's gonna have the bigger frame, it's gonna have the leaf spring hangers, I believe are further apart. It's gonna have all that stuff. And from what little bit of research I've done, it should all go together. And you know, obviously it's a long bed. So long bed, long bed, bolt the bed, axle, drive shaft's probably gonna be different cause why would it be the same? And then swap over the dually hub stuff in the front. And as neat as these service bodies can be, it's not as neat as that. Once again, my opinion, I don't know. But we really hope you tune in to watch because I think it's gonna be a pretty cool, pretty cool episode. We've ordered some neat stuff, ordered some drop spindles, flip kit. I think that's it. Oh, and a notch. Yeah, definitely gonna notch it because it's gonna be pretty low. It's got the 10 bolt in it. So I think the drop on this thing is like eight off the bat, maybe. Don't quote me. I think it's I think it's a six eight's the ma the magic number from my uh, Instagram research. But it's gonna be hunkered down. We're gonna get the wheels cleaned up, powder coat with some fresh tires on it. And and this truck does run as you've seen, but hopefully I got enough stuff. I think I'm gonna try to just put a carburetor on it because I don't I don't want to mess with TBI and definitely don't want to burn it down again. <laughs> again. So hey, thanks for sticking around. Short, sweet. It's New Year's Eve. Just trying to knock a little something out, get ourselves set up for a, a really fun 2024. I appreciate everyone sticking around subscribing liking all the things that you know you, we keep it going hey till next time we'll see you